Logan said, dude, I, lo I love Logan. He's I, I great. love people who love, you know, know how to have fun. And we're going to be seeing not a lot of fun right now. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Dill said this beforehand. We might be seeing Dill go straight to the blast zone to possibly avoid oh, getting boy. hit zero to death. But no, she's actually willing to scrap. Going for the back throw, too. It's good. It's honestly a really good mix. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. Remember what I said? I anyway, wasn't kidding. All right. Yeah, she's going to hide up there to get out of down throw uh, combo percents. Taking the blast zone damage, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. why not? Why get zero to death? Like, you got to platform camp Luigi at, at some point anyways. Luigi doesn't have the best overall neutral game. He just gets a lot of reward off of when he gets his hits. Yeah. Like, so, as Rob, you're a huge hitbox, and you do not want to be getting comboed by Luigi. The grab. This is going to be big damage. Oh, oh, I love the wave land and the check chase. I like that. Instead of going for an immediate follow-up, Scott's setting up for the long game here. like to see that in the first stock, too. You're really sending a message for how you want to play. Yeah, and also, Scott definitely has some, like, knowledge of how Dill likes to play because Scott immediately put two plungers out to stop any stalling. Yep. That was really smart. Here we go. Got to recover right here. Like we said, Dill, exceptional edge guarder. Great at attacking characters off the stage. See if you can keep that going here against Scott. No resources here. Going to have to side be nice. Able to avoid, arguably, honestly, the best down air uh, for, for spiking at the ledge in the game. Yeah, it's, it's, such it's a definitely best. up there. And even right there just covers when you recover, recover yeah. high, too. Could possibly get comboed into up, uh, up air. But you got to respect that Nair on landing. Jab but if you lock, don't jab yep. block, if you don't tech that, you die. For sure. Love that he went for the down angle forward smash. Mm -hmm. Keep it nice and easy. You don't need to overthink it. He did have the gyro right there, too, trying to mix up the mash, the non-mash, all that stuff. Dill was ready for it, though. Up smash, clean from the rob. Dead even stocks right now for both players. Yep, go right in the blast zone. Take a little damage. All good. You're going to eat about, what, you want, like, five, a little over five? Something like that. Yep, there you go. Yeah, six, she, six is gonna do enough, apparently. Yeah, just it's basically the whole tactic of that, as annoying as it looks, it's meant to be annoying. Like yeah. you, you wanna you wanna aggravate oh, Scott dude. to the point where he doesn't he, he tries to double jump up there and try to hit you or something, and now you're out of zero to death combos. The counter argument I always make against players that, that play a character that's pretty polarizing, like Luigi, or uh -huh. even more extreme examples, Little Mac, it's like, dude, you're choosing to make me do this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I'm doing this because it's the correct counterplay to your character. If we don't like that, it is what it is. I mean, you already know how we're both like we're both born and bred from the FGC. You play to win. Yeah, like if, yep, if you gotta absolutely. do what you gotta do sometimes to get the W, even if it means getting rid of somebody's win con like Luigi, where he got to zero to death well, on you. And in my opinion, it's just such an interesting use of the mechanics. Like it's so crazy to think like something like putting yourself in the blast zone, like oh. Rob, that's it. That's gonna be a stock. Oh no, it's not! Hold on, he, oh, got, wait. The, he got the misfire. Oh, Jesus still, came still. in and then you ate a back air, but you know what? That was almost in Excellent recovery uh, from Scott, but it ended it very swiftly at the ledge. Hmm. Interesting. All right, here we go. Oh, the oh. up below, the cross up, connecting from that distance. All right, now does Dill decide to go back up top again? Like, because this is dangerous territory. You you don't have you have no rage. Now, granted, the the percent starting to climb, so it's going to be a little bit harder for Scott to find like the KO, especially with Jaron in. Now this now, now we're slowly falling out of it. Now he's just going to get uh -oh. 53, 65, 74. Jesus, how quick this character evens the game up. It's raw, man. Big hurt box. We already said it, AJ. It's going to be a big thing in this matchup. Looking for some up smash. Oh, looking for it. That, that might have been idea. it right there. Luigi Cyclone, great answer to catch and rob if maybe there's an up smash coming, get the invincibility out. Oh, out of juice too. I think I think the Dill is running out of gas. Here we go, though. Down tilt. Oh, it tripped too. Very, very good trip right there. That was huge. The air dodge to the ledge. Perfectly and timed the gyro. too. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal, honestly. I, I'm pretty like from the way things are looking, it looks like Scott's just trying to find one bad jump in with an up like up air. But that time was a back air. Oh, skip. That's Stuck still. at the ledge. That's still, she can go right over the ledge. She knows what she's doing, man. Not, not afraid at all to go over the ledge there. Got to recover here though. Still good at the ledge, but Scott even better in terms of recovering, honestly. Scott has shown great proficiency getting around the traps from Rob. Yeah, playing against one of the best ledge trappers in the game with a very poor recovery. Like, the fact that Scott yeah. keeps getting around it. Oh, and he finally finds the back air, good and that's going to be game one. Good patience for sure for Scott. He showed that back air a lot. Like you said, mixing it up with up airs and all that other stuff is really good. Waiting out for that final back air. I think it was meeting a Nair. I don't know. Devin will correct me there, I'm sure. Instant replay. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to run back guess. for you. That's my educated guess. You saw the way that, like, Scott was looking consistently uh, for the backers. He wanted it really badly. He tried to catch one on a high, like, jump before, last second, and then what does that do? It Listen. forces you to want to jump out. I got it. All right, we got one. I'm on the board. Oh, he knew that Rob was going to Nair. What a good commentator. What a genius. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, wow. You've, you've never, you've never seen Rob near before in your life. 
Look at that close up. Like, look uh, at the window where that was, too. Like, that was about was to hit that on the trade. Look at it. Oh, it just I didn't know it came out anyway. Do you see that next frame? Look at yeah, it. Yeah, that was perfectly, like, That's crazy. Perf you couldn't have timed that, like, that frame on the hit better if you're Scott. Because otherwise, you would have been set upwards, and now you're stuck in disadvantage against Rob. Ooh. Or for that matter, if bad DI holding in, you might have just died, too. Yeah. Anyway, game one going to Scott. Nail biter, though, honestly. Yep. I mean, the counterpick stage might play a big factor here. The way that Dill plays this counterpick is gonna be huge, AJ. Yeah, I think I, I think on paper you want to go to a wider stage, but I feel like the way Scott's been playing, he'd actually be pretty content with getting a lead and running away from you and yeah. letting you come to him. So that, that's why I think we're seeing Battlefield here. Uh, Dill still gets to play a very similar concept to Smashville where it's a small room to cover so you can get a good ledge trap, but you also have a few more landing options so you don't have to deal with the Luigi pressure as much as what you were dealing with on Smashville. Locking it back in, Rob against Luigi, no surprises here. Game two, Scott able to clutch out that game one. We're gonna see what deal can come up with on the counter pick. Gonna be Battlefield, all right. Yeah, how are you feeling overall about the counter? Because for me, I think it makes kind of sense, but in terms of combos, you know, you, you get to avoid Luigi, but also Luigi's combos kind of get a little bit more alive here too. I was gonna say, Scott, like really, really good, obviously off the grab, but his aerial combo game was phenomenal as well. So it's, it's a lot to avoid. Luigi's offense in general is good. Nice. That was a beautiful shot, actually, with the gyro, too. Just barely plopping it on the ground where it needed to be. Yeah, I like Wait. how Dill didn't try to push too hard, too, after the gyro went out. Because sometimes people overextend when there's not, like, a true pressure game there. Gyro's existing. That's it. Don't get up in front of that. Ooh, good. Actually, perfectly executed get-up attack, recognizing that Dill's going to try and go for the forward smash instead. Yeah, just knowing the ti knowing the timing, the spacing, everything. Oh. I was going to say, I think that's a stock. Oh, well, Dill almost dropping the gyro anyway. Yeah, it looked like, looked like Scott was trying to fade back a little bit more to avoid maybe a laser, but either way, that is first stock going in favor to Dill. Uh, and if I'm Dill, like, I'm definitely... I'm, I'm, I'm hitbox camping. I'm chilling back a little bit with Nair and Delta, so make, it, make Scott come to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the lead like this on a stage like this, all day. Take your time. Yeah, there's, there's that patented up, like the, the up these stalls. You always know that Nair is coming in from Dill at some point, or the gyro, just not trying to give you the free ledge trap. Ooh, the single hit into what? the follow up? Okay. We got combo videos coming out. This is crazy. But all the sauce that Rob players got, not gonna lie. It's, <laughs> it's wild, too, because we were talking about how good the offense was from Scott, but it's completely turned around. Dill yep. just dominating in this game, too, on the side of the offense. Waiting out that air dodge, you see Dill is catching on because that was yep. that was free and clean for Scott in the first game, but Dill showing that she can cover it. See what happens the third time around if that's he goes a, for it again. That's a fearful thing too because after you start air dodging too much in that position, that's a free down air. So you have to be very careful about how often you do that. Goes in for the roll, trying to get the up smash, misses the timing. Scott is just getting boxed out really badly and gets hit on the left side, so actually doesn't take the hit, but almost dying to that nair instead. Nice gyro. I I'm pretty sure that's his jump. For an air, yep, just going all the way out there. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was looking for a uh, misfire or something coming out. But first stock is gonna be gone. Scott retaliating as much as he can, but I, I hate to, you know, I hate to say it, but it is Luigi. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Look, day. this isn't unnecessarily out of favor for Luigi. Like Luigi just needs one grab, and all of a sudden you're back in business. Maybe not get the kill, but you're probably gonna net about 80%. And you can see what Dill's gonna be doing here. I mean, she's shown that she's happy to go into the top blast zone to take some damage. Mm. She's definitely gonna be happy going to the skies and avoiding Luigi up high on the platforms too. Yep. Now I understand the battlefield pick a little bit more. Yeah. You can platform camp Luigi a lot easier here than rather, rather than running up into the blast zone. Yeah, the goal was simple basically. Take the stock lead and do exactly what Dill's doing right now. Camp it out a little bit and relax. This is where Luigi's weakest is when he has to approach like this. But yep. Scott holding down center stage. I like the way he's mixing up his jump in between fireball, forward air, looking for any kind of hit to chip away at this Rob lead. Yeah, and if you're Dill in this position, you got five minutes left on the clock. You are up a whole stock, and you have the ability to slowly play this game out. You don't want to overcommit with the lead because that's how Luigi punishes you. Right. Granted, Scott's starting to slowly push Dill to the corner, like getting a few more hits here and there, but a lot of them have been like one-for-one one trades. That's going to be really bad if Scott Ooh. does happen to take the stock. Yeah, he's getting that much close. Yeah, it doesn't Ooh, even need air. down throw up air, just finds the back air. You know, Dill couldn't really find those back airs at the ledge that she was looking for. Even though it's a good scoop hitbox, it was just barely not connecting, but able to find one to close out that game too. Mm -hmm. Very nice placement of the aerials there. Don't forget the and one mixtape too with the, the single hit up there. That was clean. Yeah, that was such a we weird that. hit. We that. That, that was good option coverage there too because even if you happen to miss that, you cover landing in with Nair, you cover uh, air dodge down, 
and you go back to center stage. So you're not on the platform, you're not getting grabbed by Luigi there, and at most, you're taking Luigi maybe dropping off that platform with Fair. That ain't doing nothing to you. Also, yeah. I, I'll, all right, look, I have been very firm about my whole, like, fighting people on the Shoto stuff. I'll give chat one. I'll call Luigi a Shoto. I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all have that. All right, guys, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. <laughs> we got some stuff to discuss right here. It's actually an AG original. He likes calling for a commercial break. It's yeah, he does. It cut the stream. Right there. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to AG. Stream. Let's just unplug the... Yep. That's it. Anyway, not cutting any stream. We're going into the game three right here. 1-1 one, one rubber game here in the best of five set. Don't forget, this is winner semis. This is an enormous set for both players. You don't want to go down to that absolute shark tank of losers. Yeah, and now we got back. To, now we're on small battlefields. So even though you were able to platform camp a little bit, now that top platform is gone. So you still get the same combo game that you would be looking for Luigi, but less safe landing options for, for Rob. Granted, Look all of these pressure. nares are finding the mark. Going through the platform, too, is insane. Oh, like Scott was looking for a parry, and I think maybe an up air afterwards, but even then, good pressure from above yeah also shout out to the best thing that Kazuya brought to this game the music music yeah it's so good I don't know those suits are pretty fly too hey, yeah, there's, true, a, true, true. there's a couple things that Kazuya brought is amazing but I'm upset there's no XL here that but right now I mean like I said we're looking at another combo fiend who's not been able to get that like Dill again has been hitbox camping because that's the way you have to approach this matchup the Rob does not like to land against combo characters. It's just not their favorite thing Ooh. to do. Side B covering a lot of options at ledge, and I think that's the first one we've seen. Also, oh my say. god, going all the way up there for that. We definitely haven't seen Dill use a lot of side Bs. The timing, obviously, it's a tool you have to watch out against Rob. Catching Scott there and getting a stock for it. Really, really nice stuff. Doubles air pressure at the ledge, but Scott Scott needs to win it. Like, he needs to win out the stock without letting the lead get far away, because every time he's been letting Dill get back with a massive lead, it's just been... Like, every trade has been in favor of Dill, and, like, Scott just cannot touch the ground right now or find himself maybe an up smash either. Tries to go for the cross-up with the bear, just push stage positioning, but he's got to find it. He's got to find an answer pretty soon. There it is! The fourth smash is going to finally get the hit. Up throw. Not on the platform, so couldn't really get a follow-up out of it. Trying to look for the drop down there to get the grab. You can't kill at this point because you have enough rage on, so the combo's probably not going to yep. work, but at least you get, you're probably even the game up. At this point, though, AJ, I mean, you see how monumental the lead can be in a matchup like this. A matchup mm -hmm. that's so volatile. And turn Dude, I love that turnaround gyro grab, too. It's so good. I like that falling up there, too, because every single time, like, Scott's either neutral get up or just done a get up attack on that. So you do the falling up there to change position to you and also catch Dill off guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 124, though, a straight hit back here, as we're seeing Dill go a lot for right now, especially trying to space out, is going to find a kill. That or a grab pretty soon. Forward air here, good pressure. Scott so good at grabbing the top two. Yeah, he does get he gets a small amount of damage at it, but if you at least Ooh, oh, down, wait, th up down throw. throw up there. If you mash, you're up not smash, don't yep. up smash. Good job again. Dill very consistent with that too, actually. Mm -hmm. She's good at recognizing how hard you're gonna mash and when you're gonna get oh. out. And this is and then immediately, oh good job recognizing that Scott that was going all the way up there. Uh, I don't believe so. J uh, just use the use the boost suggest, use the up B. Oh gotcha, okay. But if you don't do that, you're dead. Yeah, just spacing around down B at that position is so important, right? Okay. Oh, pressure? Oh, that was such a good position for Jill. Dill. She was unable to capitalize, though. Yeah, she tried to get the drag down like, string there as well. And now we're seeing again, like, Scott, every time Scott got a hit, his reward on hit is amazing. He's getting big damage. But the problem is, he can't find another hit. Yeah. He's just getting zoned out, and that's one of the hardest things for Luigi pretty much to deal with. Yeah, I mean, Dill just doing an amazing job slowing the game down. That's what you got to do against this character, Luigi. If you play his game, it, your job gets a 1,000% harder. Dill, though, taking the lead, playing incredibly safe, and that's the way to do it. Oh, oh, I like the attempt. I like the attempt because you try to read maybe a spot dot or you get scared of possibly getting up smash there, but doesn't get it. 126, though. Any? Oh, okay, the aggressive down B, not enough just yet still, though, to get the kill off the top. Crazy. That would have been huge for Scott. He might be able to get something here anyway, trying to create some space. Laser air dodging in. The dash oh. attack and the drive. Oh, oh, the gyro hit. Amazing okay. job. That was godlike by Scott. Dill on phase, though. Puts the pressure out up there. Still amazing by Scott, but man. That's going to be it. Yeah, immediately answered after that. Not letting anything get out of whack. Just getting that up there. Definitely, I didn't expect that to kill for a second, but I forgot how high his percent was. But I think a big thing here, honestly, that we're seeing consistently. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Boom. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> like, let's, let, what did they ban, right? Let's see. So, uh, she banned FD and she banned PS2. I can see why Scott's not going to Kalos on paper, but I feel like the platforms in center stage are working out way less for him because yeah. it's just letting Dill camp. Yeah. And I, again, I think so much comes out of that first stock. In stock lead, the game changes immensely. Yeah. And here we go. Small battlefield, potentially Scott's last game here on the winner's side. Not if he has anything to say about it. Are you moving around these platforms a little bit? Dill, though, game plan has not changed, AJ. Floor plan has, game plan staying the same. I mean, look, if the blueprints of success is working, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's mm -hmm. just, it's just the end all be all. If you are consistently winning a matchup, who cares if you're aggravating the other player? <laughs> it's working. It's the ancient wisdom, right? Where it's like, all right, this character kills me in one hit, one grab. Don't get grabbed. Don't I'm sure get that's in Art of War somewhere, avoid, right? Avoid. What's that? <laughs> I'm sure that's in Art of War somewhere. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Down tilt with Rob. Yep. Also, get a free edge guard Woo! like that. Oh, the laser. Like, even after that, there's no jump. Luigi is not making that back. Excellently executed by Dill. She hit him with optic blast. You know what I'm saying? That was it. <laughs> that was the evil winner. Out here looking like Cable with the beams for days. Yep. Now, what are you going to do now? You are down a stock. And you are you have platforms again. So Ooh. Dill's gonna play exactly the same. Like, what do you need to see out of Scott to give you faith that he can run this, this back? This is crazy too, because he's even getting the parries, but can't get the grab follow-ups that he's looking for. I think he's gotta look for a couple smaller wins in neutral, you know what I mean? Ooh. Don't go for the grab. Look at that, already racking up 103. Just nice and chill play here. See where Dill goes. Up high, looking for the down B. A little bit of committal, but Scott's still in a good spot. This is what I want to see. More fares, more Oh, they had to air dodge up! Oh, gets yeah. the, there you go, finally finds a down air to get at least the, the missed stage spike. And there was a lot of upbeat gone at that point, so I don't think Dill's making that back regardless. Yeah. And it's like we're seeing this over and over where Dill's just avoiding the big, big hits, and in, yep. in this case, a grab too. So what Scott needs to do for the adjustment is just try to go for hits that are a little more unconventional. You know what I mean? Look for forward airs, time to space it out, yep. time it out. Six and a half minutes on the clock, no need to force the issue. Yeah, one of the best things that will work against good players who have a big read on you do some unorthodox stuff every once in a while. If you throw out a why did you do that option, you're gonna mess with their brain a little bit and get them to kind of back yeah. off. It doesn't work every time, but it is a good last minute thing, especially when you're down here two, st two games to, to one, you gotta pull out the hat tricks at this point. Yeah, I think Scott's doing a good job too. He's walking a little bit, he's taking his time, trying to approach it in, in a really slower, like more patient way. Looking for a dash, wow, that dash attack needed to connect or else he would have lost the stock for sure. Yeah, that would have been an up smash out of, uh, out of shield for free, but yeah. still gets gets a hit for a second. But all these nares, I don't blame Dill for doing because if you get one nair trait, that, that's that's a kill. Dill's laser game, immaculate uh, in this in this game four. Off stage, on stage, anywhere. She got the laser pointer, she's making it work. The grab though, there it is, the pivot. Oh, waiting it out too. That's amazing patience by Scott. I know yep. he didn't get anything out of it, but the idea that he finally got the grab and then didn't swing instantly is such good uh, mentality. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, oh, I got it. Players freak out and swing instantly. A player like Dill's gonna look for something like also, that. Also, so. another thing too is that Dill's consistently DI'ing out every time, so down throw up B doesn't work. Yeah. Like, because that's a true combo if you forget to DI at certain windows. So that down is. B. Almost 99% almost killing with all this rage. 185? Uh, up smash actually gets the lead. Oh, yeah, you there, You yep. are super dead. Yep, good reach there by Dill. She's putting Scott potentially on his last stock to the winner side of bracket. Scott earlier today defeating Light. Might be falling to this Rob. I mean, it is a it's a difficult approach to the matchup. The way that she's just controlled the pace of the game. Luigi wants you to commit on, like, just, just come up to him. Rob doesn't need to do that, and she's yeah. doing that so well here in this matchup. Right, pressure now. Fading away with these nares. That's the thing is, like, Dill, she's not afraid to just disengage. Like, she doesn't like a situation, just dip. Like, yeah. there's no reason to, pre uh, to press the issue if you don't want to. Yeah, you know what happens when you look, you're talking about Little Mac and stuff earlier. You, you know what happens when you run directly up to Luigi or Little Mac and Same stuff? Thing, yeah. You shake their hand because you lost 2-0. Like, yeah, exactly. You, oh, what that a call-out on that up jump too. with the down B. And all of a sudden, we are back in a game as the music picks up the pace at the same time. Like we said, the mix-ups are going to be so important here. Scott looking for a ton of back airs. Oh, oh hold on. Hey, he's got the ledge trap going. He Ooh. reads the jump. Now you're getting a trade. All of a sudden, some damage is coming in. Yeah, big situation for Scott right here. Doesn't want to let Dill out of the corner. She finds her way, though. Oh, no, she rolled in. Couple rolls here. Oh, some some very def Oh, I don't know about that air dodge, but going straight up. Ooh. Finds the back air on the punishment to Jaro. Ah! Finds it down there, and Scott runs it all the way back after being in such a deficit. He's Not happy, funny, dude. opening's over and over. That, that's a pop-up, that's a pop-off worthy moment after the way that Dill kept him out that whole set. Scott, 
despite wearing a mask, I could still see he had a huge smile on his face right there. Great timing on the down air, no spike. Nice job cleaning up that last game. It was looking tough again for him, honestly. I mean, we're going to a game five here when uh, things were looking really down and out for Scott, to be honest with you. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I didn't think that he was making that comeback for a minute there. Like, it, the way that Dill's defense was on point was sometimes when you get close to the end, when you have those matches where you think you have a lead, especially moving into like winner's finals, the stress can sometimes hit. And you're yeah. all of a sudden get a hit a bunch. That's a quick way to get into your head and yeah. see if they can like pull it back together. But right now, if you're Scott, you got to be feeling really amped up after getting that W. Right. Well, and here's the thing, chat, that you got to remember. Both these players causing big upsets on their way to winners. You got Scott taking out Light. Dill taking out Ling Ling, two of the favorites to come into this event. Light, obviously, phenomenal PGR ranked player. Ling Ling right on the cusp, but yeah. you know, maybe attending a few more tournaments could get it, but also getting ninth at Riptide recently. Two of the top seeds in this tournament falling early, getting a game five set here in winter semis. Doesn't get better than this. Dill on the Rob, Scott on the Luigi. Let's lock it in, AJ. We got game five, baby. This is what you want to see for winning semis. Has, I gotta say, man, amongst the character pool in this game, one of the scariest people to have to fight on game five while you're stressed out, Luigi. free is Luigi. Wait, you can say that about either of these characters, to That's be true. <laughs> we, actually, but you know what? We haven't seen Dill really go for a lot of side B, like zero to death type strings, but now look at Scott getting a lot of openings going straight to 81%. Dill needs to replicate that success, but Scott is winning on trades over and over again right now. Mm -hmm. Pressure from below. These back airs have been so good. Game four, nothing has changed since we moved to game five. Back airs oh. from Scott is going to be the primary tool. Down tilt. That's a running out of gas. Yep, yeah. yep. Gas is getting low there. Down B, though. Very oh! active. That's going to connect. That's going to kill. Early lead for Scott. We haven't seen this in a few games, AJ. You don't hear me pop up. Oh, wait. There's the, I was talking about no side B kills often. This is one of the characters that's very easy to set up for that down air. Misses the timing, though. Dill needs to, like, you have to seal out this stock fast. Try to look for maybe a narrow corner, wow. oh! but finds it down here. This, uh, they are throwing hands now, Has. Yeah, and she put, Rob was facing in towards the stage, too. That was just a perfectly timed down air. It's really good at it, but you still have to. Scott, so good at mixing up when he's going to go to the ledge. That's the move he's going to be trying to avoid, so you got to give Dill a lot of credit for landing that yeah. one. Oh, gets a jack uh -oh. down up air. Yep, Tried to course. look for an air dodge down with the back air, but with the frame three near coming through, stops all that. Nice. Good knowledge there too, knowing the up tilt's gonna connect through a parry. Mm. Really good stuff from Scott. These both, both these players are pulling out all the stops. Hey, you remember that slow passing play we saw, we were seeing out of Dill before, where she was trying to put a lot more down tilt out, a lot of retreating back airs, trying to make sure he stays out. Now she's boxing with him, and yeah. that's gonna make it easier for Scott to get in. She's gotta be super. Oh, oh! that's a true combo. The you don't wanna get hit by that up tilt, that up B in that situation ever. That is going to be Scott putting himself in the lead. Yep. That was the double, you know, up tilt, uh, you know, weak sure you can into fear sure you can. One, two, punch, get the rob out of here, a grab, two, this could be it. Nope, okay. All right, doesn't get any follow ups after that, but these short hop foyers are hitting the mark. Down tilt, pushing Dill to the ledge. Dill trying to find a landing with the nair, but this is so scary. Look at the shield pressure now that Scott, Scott was being kept up forever, and now Scott oh! just reads the spot dodge uh and goes in to winner's finals after being absolutely pushed out through the entirety of the first three games. And Look Scott. At him finds the W and gets himself in there. Clutching his chest right there. He knows that that one, especially that game four coming down to the last second here, a couple clutch reads at the end. And again, AJ, we're talking about big opportunities in this set. Being up a stock was the difference maker so many times for both players. Scott, if he was down or if he wasn't feeling very confident in that situation, might not have pulled the trigger on the up B. But since he had a, an extra stock to play with, even if he got hit right there, he might not have lost it. Yeah. So having the lead allows you to either really extend it and camp a ton and force your opponent to approach or to go for crazy things too, like that up B read on a spot dodge to close out a game five set. Incredible stuff from Sky. It was looking, yeah. honestly, AJ, it was looking like a lost cause there I, in game three, game four. I agree 100%. And also, like, the le little fact, like, Scott is the last Connecticut rep in winner's side right now. So, yeah. because on the other side, you have Rhode Island's uh, Sharp and New York's Wizzy. And you just had New York's Dill a second ago. So, the fact that he was able to move on and get himself a solidified spot, at least in top three so far, and because he's now in winner's finals, that means that he's guaranteed possibly if he continues, if Light does a, uh, like has a run through losers, yep. he's gonna have to fight Scott again. 